Have you ever wondered how far a young mind's curiosity could lead, perhaps to the edge of a nuclear frontier? Today, let us dive into the story of a seemingly ordinary boy named David Hahn, who proved that curiosity, indeed, knows no bounds. Born in the late 70s in Clinton Township, Michigan, David was like many other kids filled with curiosity and a sense of adventure. But what set him apart was his extraordinary interest in nuclear science. You see, David's fascination with the subject wasn't by chance. His father, a car engineer, and his grandfather, a television and radio enthusiast, both played pivotal roles in sparking his interest. They introduced him to the world of mechanics and electronics, setting the stage for what was to come. David's thirst for knowledge led him to join the Boy Scouts, a platform that further amplified his curiosity. Here, he expanded his horizons, gaining a deeper understanding of nature, survival tactics, and, more importantly, the art of experimentation. But it was the Atomic Energy Merit Badge that truly captured his imagination. The badge, designed to educate young scouts about nuclear energy and radiation, kindled in David a fascination that was anything but ordinary. This was the spark that ignited his extraordinary journey into the realm of nuclear energy. Imagine a teenager, locked away in his room not with video games, but with a dream to build a nuclear reactor. This is the story of David Hahn, a young man who took his passion for science to a level few could even fathom. David's thirst for knowledge was insatiable. He sought to understand the world around him, not just from textbooks, but through hands-on experiments. He delved into the intricate world of nuclear physics and chemistry, teaching himself the complexities of these subjects, and what's more, he did it alone. This was no easy feat. Nuclear physics is not something you can simply pick up like a guitar or an Xbox. It takes patience, dedication, and a healthy dose of audacity to wade into such dense and challenging material. But David was not deterred. His fascination with the atom led him to collect radioactive materials, not from high-tech labs or secret government facilities, but from everyday household items. Smoke detectors, lantern mantles, even antique luminous clocks became treasure troves of radioactive elements for his experiments. And then came the crowning achievement of his young career, the Atomic Energy Merit Badge. This was a feat so rare it was like a unicorn sighting amongst Boy Scouts. The badge required an understanding of nuclear energy and radiation and a demonstration of this knowledge. And David, the radioactive Boy Scout, achieved it. But his exploration didn't stop there. He had a dream, a vision, to build a nuclear reactor. It was a lofty goal, one that would push him to the very limits of his intellect and resourcefulness. But David was not one to back down from a challenge. David was not just playing with fire, he was dancing with radioactive isotopes. His journey was a testament to the power of curiosity, a demonstration of what one can achieve with sheer determination and a willingness to explore the unknown. Now picture a 17-year-old turning his mother's potting shed into a nuclear lab. This isn't your typical teenage project. This was the reality for David Hahn. David had a grand vision to build a breeder reactor. This is not a simple task. It requires a vast amount of knowledge in physics and an insatiable curiosity. But David, despite his young age, was not deterred. He began his ambitious project by gathering radioactive material. You might wonder where a teenager could possibly find such materials. Well, David was resourceful. He collected small amounts from household items like smoke detectors, which contain americium-241, and old glow-in-the-dark clocks, which contain radium-226. Piece by piece, David assembled the radioactive heart of his reactor. Next came the construction of the reactor itself. Using a hollowed-out block of lead, David created a makeshift reactor vessel. Inside this vessel, he placed his collected radioactive materials surrounding them with layers of aluminum and tin foil to serve as a makeshift neutron reflector. Now, this was far from a professional setup. It was dangerous and frankly a little mad. Unbeknownst to David, his reactor was emitting potentially lethal levels of radiation. This wasn't a high school science fair project, it was a ticking time bomb. The potential consequences were severe. Had David's reactor gone into a full-fledged chain reaction, it could have resulted in a nuclear meltdown. This would have released a massive amount of radiation, potentially harming David and those around him. Despite the risks, David forged ahead. He was driven by curiosity, by a desire to understand the world around him. But this curiosity came with a price, one that David and those around him would soon have to pay. 
In the silence of the night, the potting shed was glowing, not with fairy lights, but with radiation. David Hahn's breeder reactor was alive. The radioactive Boy Scout had achieved his dream. But at what cost? What happens when a secret as dangerous as a homemade nuclear reactor spills? Well, when the secret in question is the one David Hahn was harboring, it causes quite the stir. The radioactive Boy Scouts project was discovered not through his confessions but through a chance encounter. David was pulled over by the police one night for a broken taillight. His car, which was also his makeshift lab, was filled with suspicious materials and tools. The police were puzzled by the strange materials and decided to investigate further. This led to the involvement of the authorities, who were shocked to discover the extent of David's experiments. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the Environmental Protection Agency were called in, and they found David's mother's property to be a hotbed of radiation. The shed, where most of his experiments took place, was a particular point of concern. It was so contaminated that it had to be dismantled and buried as low-level radioactive waste. The discovery led to a massive decontamination of his mother's property, a process that took months and cost thousands of dollars. All the while, David was under investigation, his life under a microscope. The Boy Scout who once earned merit badges for his curiosity was now earning a reputation as a potential danger to society. David's life was irrevocably changed. He faced significant scrutiny and was even expelled from college. His dream of becoming a nuclear scientist was shattered. His life became a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked curiosity. It's a fascinating tale, isn't it? A story of a boy who loved science, who pushed the boundaries of knowledge, but in doing so, crossed a line. It's a story that makes us question the limits of curiosity and the responsibility that comes with knowledge. It's a story that leaves us wondering, where is the line between passion and obsession? The Boy Scout's badge of honor had turned into a radioactive scar. David Hahn walked into the annals of history, not as a hero, but as a warning. His makeshift nuclear reactor had been dismantled, his backyard stripped of radioactive soil, but the fallout of his audacious experiment was far from over. David found himself entangled in a web of legal issues. His youthful curiosity was met with the full weight of the law. Federal agencies were unsure how to deal with this unprecedented situation. The young man, who had once dreamt of serving aboard a nuclear-powered vessel, was now barred from approaching anything that even remotely resembled nuclear material. The impact on David's life was profound. Physically, he seemed to have escaped any severe radiation sickness. Psychologically, however, the shadows of his experiment lingered. He battled mental health issues and struggled with substance abuse, a stark reminder of the unanticipated consequences of unregulated experimentation. Yet, amidst the personal turmoil and legal wrangling, David's story brought to light some crucial lessons. It laid bare the urgent need for a comprehensive understanding of nuclear safety. His tale illustrated how a bright, curious mind, when not guided properly, could potentially stumble into dangerous territory. It also highlighted the importance of effective, accessible science education that could channelize curiosity into constructive paths. The repercussions of David's experiment also sparked a wider conversation on nuclear safety. His radioactive Boy Scout project served as a wake-up call for regulatory bodies, prompting them to tighten the rules around handling radioactive materials. It underscored the importance of vigilance and stringent control measures in the realm of nuclear science. David's story is a potent reminder of the thin line that separates scientific curiosity from potential disaster. The very same curiosity that fuels innovation and progress can also lead us down a perilous path, if not tempered with wisdom and caution. David Hahn, the radioactive Boy Scout, had reminded us of the power and peril hidden within the atom. His story continues to serve as a cautionary tale for budding scientists a testament to the boundless possibilities and inherent risks of scientific exploration. In the end, what remains of David Hahn's story is not just a tale of radiation, but of relentless curiosity. A curiosity so potent, it led a young boy to delve into the complex world of nuclear physics, to seek out knowledge that lay far beyond his years, and to push the boundaries of what was deemed possible within the confines of his own backyard. David's life was one marked by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, a thirst that drove him to construct a makeshift nuclear reactor, to understand the intricacies of radioactive decay, to grapple with concepts that even seasoned scientists would find challenging. Yet, his curiosity, 
his dedication to exploration and learning was not inherently dangerous. It was the lack of guidance, the absence of a responsible hand to channel his interests, that led him down a hazardous path. As we reflect on his life, we see a clear picture of a brilliant mind that simply needed direction. A mind that, given the right tools and supervision, could have used its passion for discovery to contribute to the world in a positive and meaningful way. Instead, it serves as a cautionary tale of what can happen when curiosity is left unchecked. David's story reminds us of the importance of mentorship, of the crucial role that teachers, parents, and society at large play in guiding the curiosity of young minds. It is our duty to ensure that such intense fascination, such potent curiosity, is harnessed and directed towards safe and constructive paths. His tale serves as a testament to the power of the human mind, to its capacity for exploration and discovery. It teaches us that curiosity, when properly guided, can lead to breakthroughs and advancements, to a deeper understanding of the world around us. David Hahn's story serves as a reminder to us all. The power of curiosity is immense, but without guidance it can lead us into the heart of danger.